So this Saturday, the Hollywood Syndicate uh, have a couple of horses stepping out, um, and one or two should be pretty competitive. We start off in the third race with Chief Officer. He now steps up to 1,400 meters. Um, he ran a decent race last time out uh, to finish second. Do you think he's going to enjoy the extra? I think so. I think also having the run, he will have come on from the run. Yeah, I think it's a competitive race. You look through the race, but I think you must have an each-way chance. Drawn seven, he should be handy and, and, and be able to give a good account of himself, I'd imagine. Yeah, he looks like a simple horse to ride. He's got a lot of speed, so he helps you in the race. I think he'll get him into a good position. And yeah, I think he's got an each-way chance. The next race, race four, is also a 1,400 meter. Um, and it's good to see Binary Star stepping back up to the 1,400. He won his uh, maiden start to finish over the same trip. Um, and he should be, uh, be a, an improver this time, because it was quite a disappointing run over the 1,200 last, uh, last time out. Yeah, it was a very disappointing run. So he has to have improved a lot on his last run to have any kind of a chance. But the only good thing is I, I, I like is that he's coming back to the trip that he's won. He hasn't run there since he's won. So, uh, maybe he'll prefer that, but I think he's got a lot of improvement on his last run. Then we have Uncle Charlie, who's in the same race from the Garth Puller stable. Unfortunately, he's a second reserve, uh, so it's probably unlikely that he'll get a run. But with that said, he's obviously tumbling in the ratings, and he's going to start, uh, you know, when he does take his chance, he's going he's to make it count, I would imagine, because he's really looking well handicapped at the moment. Yeah, you're 100% right. He is very well handicapped, so if he's a horse that could get in, he'll definitely have an each-way chance. Then race five, we've got Arctic Princess uh, for the Glen Cotson stable. Um, she was very, very disappointing last time out. That was her, uh, her handicap debut after a nice win in, uh, uh, under Anton Marcus prior to that. Um, you know, we would just be looking for some, some improvement here. The, the stable says she's coming along nicely, but she may just need this run. Yeah, um, she's definitely have to improve a lot on her last run. The last run was really disappointing and um, uh, John wasn't too happy. He said, obviously, he thought there was something wrong, but yeah, I think she has a lot of improvement to, to, to feature in the in a winning all place. So we've touched on Seattle Force. We'll skip to the 10th race now where Cavalry has his first run for the Hollywood Syndicate after an impressive win last time out. He'll be donning the Hollywood Syndicate silks for the first time. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a very, very speedy sort. Uh, ran third in that 400 meter dash last year. Um, and he seems to be a little bit better suited to 1,000 meters. He obviously steps up to the 1,200 here. Um, and he's, he's, he's landed a tough wide draw as well. So, you know, how, how do you think that's going to affect his, his chances? Well, I think he's going to find it quite difficult from that draw. I looked at the race, looks like there's a lot of speed in the race. And uh, yeah, I, and I think a far furlong is obviously his better trip. I think he's just going to find it very difficult. Let's hope he gets into a good position and, and runs a place.